I should have been out there in Arizona too. And you know just what I mean. So YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's Graven here with another video and as you saw earlier I should have been out there with them boys too I should have been right out there in Arizona with Lamar and Manjus and Hollywood and I think JK Dobbins out there I should have been there too but it is what it is man I'm a forgiving person so I forgive y'all for not sending me that invite but anyway um before we get into this video uh, keep protecting your energy man keep protecting your energy if you feel like somebody's being extra negative or just be a negative period and you ain't on that and you shouldn't be on that uh even though sometimes we can all get caught up because we are emotional people man or woman we all emotional people try not to get caught up in the negativity man because it's not worth it it's not worth it to ruin your moment it's not worth it to ruin your day it's just not worth it period so try to keep with the positive vibes and some people that were keeping up with the positive vibes was lamar jackson and hollywood and man Drews and jk because they took a trip to arizona why they took a trip way out to Arizona, I'm not sure. They could have just done it right here in Florida. But they took a trip to Arizona to get right. They took a trip to get it right. Um, we, we saw the clips of Lamar on the plane just vibing. We, we saw Hollywood. We saw uh, Mark Andrews, JK. We saw them boys working together. And that's a beautiful thing because they putting in the time. And that's what you want them to do. And now something to remember is that... This doesn't mean like, oh man, this is the first time that these guys have worked out together. Obviously with Lamar in Hollywood, it's not the first time. But even with Mark Andrews, it's a possibility that it's not the first time that they've gotten together. But what you see on social media, that's what they're showing you. They could be putting in so much more work together. Or they could be doing nothing. But either way, you're seeing what they are allowing you to see. So keep that in mind moving forward. Um, but it's, it's a beautiful thing. Now, I know there are going to be people that ask the question, well, where's Boykin and where's Duvernay? Where's Proche? We don't know. We don't know. Maybe they have other situations that they need to attend to. So I don't want anybody to be thinking, oh, man, those guys are bad teammates. Oh, man, those guys. No, it ain't nothing like that, man. It ain't nothing like that. It's just we, we just don't know. So leave that at that. But I was thinking, like, man, it's funny that the, uh, the guys that have the best connection with each other <laughs> are all still working for <laughs> Because, <laughs> again, you know, Lamar, he going to give his targets to Mark Andrews. And Lamar, he going to give his targets to Hollywood. Those two, the leaders in targets, the leaders in yards, the leaders in touchdowns, the leaders in all of that. They going to get theirs for sure. Um, but it's the other guys that have been hungry. So we'll see how everything ends up translating this year. And, and hopefully things can move forward in a positive direction. Now, um, we had to start off this video with positive news from the Baltimore Ravens. Then we got to kind of switch gears a bit. Got to switch gears. Shout out to my guy, Hairs to Chill, uh, because he uh, is somebody else that also makes fire um, highlight videos uh, of the Baltimore Ravens. You can check him out on Instagram. Uh, his link is Hairs to Chill. H-E-Z-T-O-O-C-H-I-L-L. -L. Shout out to my guy. Um, but he had made a video, a little tribute video um, for Orlando Brown Jr., and he tagged uh, Mark Andrews in it. Um, and Mark Andrews reposted it. And it wasn't even a big deal that he just reposted it. But it was more so what he said when he reposted it that got a lot of us thinking. Uh, he said, the realest. Easy money, living legend. Love, 78. And when a lot of us saw that, a lot of us felt like that was sort of a farewell message. It seemed like it was a goodbye uh, from Mark Andrews to his very, very longtime teammate, uh, Orlando Brown Jr. Because obviously they went to the uh, they went to the same college together. So they've been around each other for a long time, a long time. They went to the college, same college together. They came out in the same draft, the 2018 Ravens draft, which was just it's still amazing because most of those guys are still having a major impact wherever they are. Um, but they came out together and they've been rocking with each other for a long time. And it's crazy because Mark Andrews and, and Orlando Brown Jr. Are sort of tied at the hip in more ways than one. Because another reason that both of them got where they are right now is because of injury. Remember Mark Andrews, of course, Hayden Hurst, unfortunately, he got injured. Then Mark Andrews entered the starting lineup. Boom, the rest was history. And for Orlando Brown Jr., I remember just clamoring. For, I was like, I remember when they drafted him through preseason, I was like, this guy needs to start. He needs to be the starter. He needs to be the starter. But the Ravens ain't want to hear. 
And I think they went with James Hurst or something, but then James Hurst got hurt, so then Orlando Brown Jr. got thrust into the starting lineup. Um, so they they are very, very close. I mean, like Mark Andrews, he put that uh, in his repost. But it just made a lot of us Ravens fans think like, oh, is, is there something that is coming out very, very soon that we are going to find out about, about Orlando Brown Jr.? So we can't do anything but wait. But that wasn't the only thing that got posted um, about Orlando Brown Jr. Because initially, I, I saw Lamar Jackson, I saw his Instagram feed, and I'm not one of them people to, that looks into these things extra deep and like, oh man, turn into a detective and all that. But Because when I saw Lamar Jackson, he posted, oh, get you a team that will play whatever position they need to as long as we win. So he posted a quote from somebody else, and I was just thinking, okay, I was just scrolling through it, I saw it, I was like, no big deal, it's nothing. But then, what got me to thinking, somebody has sent me what Ronnie Stanley put on his Instagram feed. And Ronnie Stanley put, he reposted the same thing. Get you a team that will play whatever position they need to as long as we win. But then he has his own part to say too. Rare people these days. Now, I know that that can apply to anything. <laughs> It, it can apply to anything. It can apply to life. It can apply to friends. It can apply to family. It can apply to so many different things. But it just gets you thinking, like wondering, like, are they talking about somebody? I don't know. I don't know. So it's just a waiting game now, man. It's a waiting game. We don't want there to be a uh, dissension. We don't want there to be a uh, problem in the locker room. Um, we don't want there to be drama in the locker room, anything like that. Um, but you just never know. Because these are all people, like we talked about earlier, um, these are all people that have emotions. Even though it is a business. In business, sometimes you can get caught up in emotion with it. You can. It happens. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what goes down. Um, but if you put those pieces of those puzzles together, it, it really seems like something is brewing uh, with Orlando Brown Jr. And uh, again, you just look at the timing of everything. You look at all this timing, even with them bringing in uh, Alejandro Villanueva for the visit. Um, and that's supposed to happen between today and tomorrow. Well, I'm recording this on Wednesday. I'm recording this on Wednesday at 12.54 p.m. So that visit is supposed to happen, I believe, tomorrow on Thursday. Um, so... I don't know, man. We just got to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So what it's looking like, Orlando Brown Jr. is going to be very, very soon when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens. 